there, it's Miss Nikki. I enjoyed reading Cece Loves Science, so I thought today I'd read you another book in that series titled Cece Loves Science and Adventure. In this story, Cece and her Adventure Girls troupe use science, technology, engineering, and math to solve problems. This book is written by Kimberly Dirting and Shelley R. Johannes and illustrated by Vasti Harrison. Cece loved being an adventure girl almost as much as she loved science. She couldn't wait to earn her camping pen. There was so much science she could explore in nature. In the past, Cece had run into trouble earning her Adventure Girl pins. The sewing challenge had her in stitches. The jewelry activity tangled her in knots. And the dance lesson totally tripped her up. But this time, Cece could finally put science to work. Cece packed everything on her list. First aid kit, sunscreen, bug spray, water bottle, rain poncho. Then she remembered what her science teacher, Miss Curie, said. Real scientists are always prepared. So Cece packed a few extra things, just in case. Cece's camping checklist, binoculars, notebook, pencils, camera, compass, chocolate, graham crackers, marshmallows, animal tracking guide, twine. Cece's friends Daisy and Caroline were adventure girls too. Cece's mother was the group leader and Cece's dog Einstein was their unofficial mascot. When Cece's mother saw Cece's heavy bag, she smiled. Looks like you had an extra checklist. It's good to be prepared, said Cece. Wait, we need one small thing. Sweet, cheered Caroline and Daisy. When the adventure girls reached the campground, Cece's mother handed them the camping pin worksheets. Cece read the next task out loud. Set up your campsite. Putting up this tent will be a breeze, Cece whispered to Einstein. But the wind did not agree. The adventure girls worked together as a team. Finally, they had built a home away from home. I think you've earned a snack, said Cece's mom. Einstein gets one too. Caroline looked at her worksheet. Time to go on a nature hike, she said. Daisy smiled. This is the fun part. I'll take pictures to track our route, said Cece, grabbing her digital camera. The adventure girls headed into the wilderness. Daisy found the perfect hiking stick. Caroline picked flowers and Einstein led the pack. Cece took pictures of landmarks along the trail. A twisty oak tree, a dry river bed, and a fork in the path. She also took one of a huge boulder that looked like a gnome with a mossy beard. All of a sudden, the sky grew darker. Uh-oh, said Daisy. I hope it doesn't rain, said Caroline. It's okay, adventure girls, said Cece's mom. Don't worry. But Cece wasn't so sure. She studied the gray clouds and remembered what she'd learned about weather during Miss Curie's meteorology lesson. Mom, I think a storm is coming, Cece said. 
The wind picked up and thunder boomed in the distance. Cece, you might be right, said her mom. Maybe the storm is far away, said Daisy. How can we tell? asked Caroline. Cece knew science could solve almost any problem. She told her friends about a trick Miss Curie had taught her. If we see lightning, we count the seconds until we hear thunder. Every five seconds equals one mile. Just then, lightning flashed across the sky. Daisy looked at her watch and they started counting. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. When they reached 20, thunder rumbled again. That means the storm is still four miles away, Cece said. When thunder roars, go indoors, said Cece's mom. We'd better head back to camp. Cece's mom tried to map the route on her phone. My GPS isn't working, she said. Maybe it's the storm, said Daisy. I know, said Cece, holding up her camera. We can be detectives and use my pictures to make a map. Cece got a notebook and pencils from her backpack. The adventure girls drew a map and marked the spot where they thought their campsite would be. Suddenly, it started to pour. Oh no, yelled Daisy. We're getting soaked. We need to find someplace dry, said Cece's mom. I know, we can build a shelter, said Cece. Our rain ponchos can be the roof, said Caroline. Daisy, let's use your walking stick as a tent pole, said Cece. Soon the adventure girls had built a shelter. They climbed inside and huddled together to stay dry. Once the storm had passed, Cece's mom said, time to go. How long will it take? Daisy asked. I'm hungry. How far is it? Caroline asked. I'm tired. We can easily figure it out, said Cece. She showed them the photo of the twisty oak tree. That was really close to camp, said Daisy. The time stamp says 1 p.m., said Caroline. Cece pulled up their group picture. Look, this one was taken at 1.45. Caroline pointed to the gnome rock and we took it right there. So, if we subtract 1 from 1.45, that means we're about 45 minutes away from camp, said Cece. That's not far at all, said Daisy. S'mores, here we come, said Caroline. 45 minutes later, the adventure girls arrived at their camp, ready to eat. But when Cece looked inside the tent, she found an empty marshmallow bag. Einstein, Cece's mom scolded. Mom, I don't think it was Einstein, said Cece, pointing to tracks in the mud. Look, something stole our snack, said Caroline. That means there's no s'mores for us, said Daisy. Cece held up the graham crackers and chocolate bars. We'll just have to make chocolate sandwiches, she said. The Adventure Girls did a great job today, said Cece's mom. You all definitely earned your camping pens. And because you solved problems using science, technology, engineering and math, I'm awarding you STEM pens too, even Einstein. Hooray, cheered Cece, science rules. Daisy and Caroline hugged Cece. You saved the day, said Daisy. Thanks, Cece, said Caroline. Cece's mom smiled. Since you worked so well together, 
I'm also giving you a special pin, she said, for teamwork. Cece smiled. Solving problems is always easier when you have a super team. The end. If you've enjoyed these STEM read aloud videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.